spent my whole life just burdened for something. Hungering for something, thirsting after, chasing this thing that I couldn't put my finger on ultimately. I was abused by older people, some in the family, some outside of the family. So as I got older, I always talked back, I always got into fights. My whole world was surrounded by guns and drugs and gangs. I remember in front of all my friends, just telling them to watch this. And as a lady uh, was driving down the street, I jumped in the middle of the street and pointed the gun right at her just to see her panic and freak out. And it was just me seeking power. By 16, I was getting high on a daily basis and got involved with a woman after woman after woman. And you know, when you mix drugs, you mix alcohol, you mix youth, it's cause for an explosion. My mother was really concerned about me. I remember she just grabbed the Bible and said, I don't know what to do, but you just need to read this Bible. You know, I remember taking the pages of the Bible and just ripping them out and throwing them on the ground and saying, I don't care about your God. I don't care about this. This isn't mean anything to me. I was in a really dark place. I was really lonely, really depressed. And a friend of mine reached out and invited me to a conference. And I'm thinking, why not? My mind was blown when I got there. I had never seen anything like it. I saw guys with, with bullet wounds and ex-gang members who loved Jesus. And I had never seen anything like that before. And so, uh, I was intrigued. I'll never forget the pastor. You know, he started talking about Jesus and, and talking about him in an intense way that I had never thought about before. I had never just imagined Jesus as a real person going through real things. I just kind of thought of him as this fairy, off distant person. But he brought it home to me and he started talking about Jesus um, being beaten and being whipped for a crime he didn't commit and the skin being ripped off his back and him having to, in the midst of his pain, carry this cross up this mountain of a skull and being pinned to this cross. It was so vivid and visual to me. I could, I, it was like I could see this happening to Jesus. And I remember him saying like, how dare you tough guys call my Jesus a punk? You know, like, look at what he went through. And then the preacher said, do you not know you've been bought with a price? And it just came to a head. It was like, wow. Jesus literally took all of this on his own back for me. You know, I remember bowing out, just head touching the ground and saying, I'm sorry, God, I'm sorry. But one step led to another, which led to another. And, you know, I was back drinking and sleeping around with women. And the conviction that I was now feeling was so strong. And I remember driving on the highway, just thinking to myself, God, you gotta do something. Because if you don't do something, I, I might hurt myself or hurt somebody else. I don't know what's gonna happen, but just don't kill me. I get cut off by a truck and my truck just starts tipping until it flips over and starts rolling fast. The glass is coming in, the windshield cracks. I'm not wearing a seatbelt at all, so I'm kind of floating around the car. And I looked myself over. There was just a piece of glass stuck in my arm and I pulled it out, and that was it. I said, Lord, 
I need to get with you. I need you to change me. I need you to really make this real and I need to stop running from you. I was genuinely trying to know him more and read my Bible and grow. And I really began to be a passionate Christ follower. But you set me free. Oh. I gave you no reason to give me new seasons, to give me new life, new breathing. No. But you hung there bleeding. You died for my lies and my cheating, my lust and my greed. And what is a man? I realized you don't earn righteousness, that none of us is righteous, not even one, and that our works are like filthy rags to God. Jesus lived the life I could not live and died the death I should have died. You know, that, that gets me every time, just to think, man, I gain everything. I put my trust in him.